Welcome to the Liquidity Pro tutorial. The Liquidity Pro is priced at $66 per month, $160 for three months, $320 for six months, or $640 for the whole year. The Liquidity Pro is only available for rent. This unique rental model allows traders to leverage our products to their full potential at a fraction of the cost. Our indicators are priced at a premium, reflecting years of dedicated development and research in their creation. We firmly believe in our indicators, which is why we regularly upload content to our YouTube channel, demonstrating how our indicators perform in live market conditions. When you purchase our indicators, we encourage you to leave a review and share your feedback or suggestions for improvements on our blog post by clicking the link in the description. Now, let's start with the tutorial. The Liquidity Pro provides clarity in the movement of price for any financial instrument, including currency pairs, cryptocurrencies, indices, and commodities. The Liquidity Pro pinpoints where price is consolidating, retracing, resisting, or settled in areas of support, presently and historically. To begin, click on each time frame to ensure that your broker's data is synchronized across all time frames. Click on Insert, Indicators, Custom, then Liquidity Pro. Now you can see your settings window. The interval count specifies the number of periods you wish to view within the selected time frames M5, M15, and M30. Select time frames. You have the option to view different interval periods across three time frames, including day, week, and month. Update chart is set at five seconds, which means the data displayed on the Liquidity Pro is delayed by five seconds. This can be changed to one second if you wish to see the changes in data in real time. Tally price separation must be manually entered for all time frames. It's important to note that the price separation values differ depending on the financial instrument. You can locate the numerical price separation values for all trading pairs and financial instruments on our Liquidity Pro blog post. If you're unable to find the price separation for your trading pair or financial instrument, please raise a question in the comment section of the blog post and we'll promptly provide assistance. The indicator window width and height are preset, but you can adjust the dimensions of the indicator in increments of 50 to ensure that all data is clearly visible. Changing the dimensions is necessary if you're viewing data for two weeks or more. Blue numerical values mean bullish momentum, which indicates a surplus of buyers and shortage of sellers, pushing the price up from the corresponding price level. Red numerical values mean bearish momentum, which indicates a surplus of sellers and shortage of buyers, pushing the price down from the corresponding price level. Black numerical values mean neutral momentum, which indicates an equal amount of buyers and sellers at the corresponding price level. A higher tally count indicates greater liquidity, indicating a greater probability of price to reverse or retrace and break through. If you observe a higher tally count associated with a specific price point with the numerical value shown in red, it suggests that selling pressure may emerge from that price region. Conversely, if the numerical value is displayed in blue, it indicates potential for price retrace and push upwards from that region. The highlighter system operates differently for each time frame. The highlighter for the M5 time frame accurately depicts when the price is nearing liquidity zones in real time. However, for time frames ranging from M15 to M30, updates occur only when the algorithm identifies the formation of a new tally, typically within the corresponding time frame.
We've incorporated extra functionalities into Liquidity Pro, enabling traders to accurately anticipate the movements of their trading pair. Here are some of the additional features. Time shows the timestamp of the latest candle closure within the chart's chosen time frame. Close shows the latest candle close price within the chart's chosen time frame and highlights both the highest and lowest candle close price. Order arranges the closing prices of the candles in sequential order within the chart's chosen time frame and highlights both the highest and lowest candle close price. Countdown timer, indicating the time remaining until the next candle closes within the selected time frame of the chart. Last, the closing price of the latest candle within the chart's selected time frame. Price, current price of the financial instrument or trading pair. Keep the interval count at 1. Set the select time frame set to daily. This configuration allows you to view liquidity zones for the current day across M5, M15 and M30 time frames. This configuration is recommended for day trading. Change the interval count to 2. Set the select time frame set to daily. This configuration allows you to view liquidity zones for the current day and the previous day across M5, M15 and M30 timeframes. Keep the interval count at 1. Set the select time frame set to weekly. This configuration allows you to view liquidity zones for the current week across M5, M15 and M30 timeframes. This configuration is recommended for conducting chart analysis. Change the interval count to 2. Set the select time frame set to weekly. This configuration allows you to view liquidity zones for the current week and the previous week across M5, M15 and M30 time frames. This configuration is recommended for conducting chart analysis. Keep the interval count at 1. Set the select time frame set to monthly. This configuration allows you to view liquidity zones for the current month across M5, M15 and M30 time frames. This configuration is recommended for conducting chart analysis. We have intentionally maintained a minimalist interface and design to ensure that users can swiftly process incoming data and make prompt trading decisions when necessary. To determine the most effective interface, we conducted trials with 20 traders, timing their trade executions and the time taken to comprehend the incoming data. Based on the unanimous decision and feedback from the traders, we opted for this minimal design choice, which proved to be the most effective in performance and user satisfaction. By clicking Save CSV, you will trigger the indicator to save the data displayed on the Liquidity Pro as a CSV document. This enables you to revert back to the document later for chart analysis, serving as an effective method for chart analysis and collecting historical data for your trading pair. Additionally, the indicator automatically saves a CSV file when you load the indicator or make any changes in the settings. To access the saved CSV documents in Apple Mac OS, click Go on the top right of your drop-down menu. Hold down the Option tab on your keyboard. Select Libraries. Click Application Support Folder, MetaTrader 5 or MetaQuotes Folder, Drive C Folder, Program Files, MetaTrader 5 Folder, MQL 5 Folder, Files. Here you will find all the saved CSV documents named by the trading pair, and date saved. Creating a shortcut to the CSV document folder is a convenient step. Simply right-click on the folder, select Make Alias, and then drag and drop the alias to your desktop for easy access. This is the end of the Liquidity Pro tutorial. Please check out our other indicators by clicking the link in the blog post. We appreciate your interest 
and don't forget to check out our YouTube channel where we demonstrate our indicators working in live market conditions. Thank you.